Hi everyone, this is CVGS, I'm Dempster and with me here is the captain. Hi! And today we'll be taking a look at the newly released, uh, well, this is the first of the, the whole series, the first uh, Battle Spirit is Dash Deck. So this is SD48. And the name for this tra uh, for this deck is, uh, what is it? The Sword of Creation. Mm, yes. Japanese, it is called Kaibyaku no Tsurugi. Mm -hmm. So this is the entry level, um, the introduction to the new Ultra Radiant Descent Arc. Or Me? Ultra, De yeah, Ultra Radiant Descent Arc. Mm -hmm. And with this set, right, we are expecting new uh, keywords such as Grand Force, uh, with the Grand Walker that's in this set, which is uh, Brahma. Mm -hmm. Or is it Brahma? I would say it's Brahma, but for I, I, it, it's also Brahma, whichever. Yeah, we will go with Brahma in this case. So if yeah, there's any accent, we, we're not sure what it is. So, uh, but for the set, as I mentioned, we can expect the new Grand Force skill as well as we're looking forward to the new uh, Saga Brave that has been uh, touted in this deck as one of its key features. So correct. Uh, so so you can expect Saga Braves to appear in this set. Mm -hmm. <coughs> in addition to that, we're also going to be having special print. Of Diamond Wall mm -hmm. with Grand Walk uh, Bashin Dang in it. Yep. So this is a this is quite an interesting addition actually. We are very much so. So once we get into the insides of the box, then we'll be able to see uh, what it is that does this set comes with. So correct. So this start deck will be released on the 13th of April, which is today. So make sure you check it out. Mm -hmm. So let's open it right now. Okay. So inside the box, we've got a total of 30 calls at the top here. Uh -huh. And a so called to help you get started with this set right away. Yes, I would say that this is a very perfect uh, deck to start off with, especially if you're new to Battle Spirits as well. Uh, it right. provides you with all the things that you need, which includes the paper playmat, uh, all the cards in this deck, as well as the so called entity cost, which is a lot to play around with yep. the Grand Walker Nexus that's in this set. Mm -hmm. So, in addition to that, there's also BS points. Don't forget about those. You need them for exchanging for goodies very in tournaments. And we also have one extra card. Well, which two is extra cards, which is the uh, Bashindan Diamond Wall. So, yeah. uh, so there's two cards in there. So we're not going to pull on it any further because we don't want to damage the cards. So right. put that to one side. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're not going to go through every single thing. But if you want to see the cards for the other... Um, other other cards here that we will not be talking about, please go over to head, uh, head on over to World of Cards uh, on Facebook and you can check out the translations. For now, we'll just be talking about the X-Rest over here. We've got three in total. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to start off with the Grand Walker itself. This is Grand Walker Brahma. Yep. Alright, so this is a Grand Walker that core charges with Ancient Dragon, Visitant and or Avatar, cost three or higher, mm -hmm. as well as God Armaments and Brave. Yep. Uh, so that's his core charges, uh, how it activates through there. In skill, Grand Force. Uh, Grand Force 2. During your during the start of your attack step, level 1, level 2, by sending two cores from this Nexus to the Void, during this turn, this Nexus is also treated as a spirit of level 1 or level 2, BP 5000, and can only be destroyed by a Grand Walker Nexus. Mm. So that is the new Grand Force in action. It turns the Grand Walker Nexus into a spirit that you can use to attack and defend with. So mm -hmm. only for that turn. Uh, it's Grand Field, level 2. Uh, during your attack step, when your Brave Spirit attacks, uh, your opponent cannot end the attack step through effects. Which means goodbye to all the white decks that are playing stuff that immediately ends the battle step. Uh, just so they can get the turn back. So with this in play, it will make it much more harder for, for decks with those uh, effects to be able to end the attack step. Mm -hmm. mm, correct. What do you think, Nems? Well, I can see in, uh, for Red's case, Braves are back again. Uh, this time with the Saga Braves, which will make it a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, and Brave Spirits is going to be a very important thing right now because this also ties in with the upcoming animation for Battle Spirits Saga Brave. Mm. Uh, with Grand Walker Dan being one of the main focuses. So it is kind of obvious that Brave is going to be back, but at a much larger scale. Mm -hmm. And if you guys haven't noticed already, this new set of Grand Walker Nexuses are all based on Hindi gods. Mm -hmm. So the name for the family name for this uh, in for this in particular is Hindida or mm. Indida uh, in Japanese. Indida, so yep. All right, the next card that we have here, this is our very first Saga Brave. Yes. And his name is the Giant God Sword Alimandi. Mm. All right, so uh, it's Brave Condition, it's cost five or higher. 
when brave to the spirit, uh, when the spirit attacks, destroy one opposing spirit or ultimate with BP ten thousand or lower and draw one card from your deck. Mm. Now what this what sets Saga Brave different from normal Braves is that it can brave with Grand Walker Nexus as well. So at the bottom we've got the brave condition for Grand Walker Nexus. So Grand Field when brave with Nexus, this Nexus symbol is also treated as red, purple, green, white, yellow, blue, basically all other colours. And it's two symbols, not just one as well. So I guess yes. to any Grand Walker. Uh, even from the ones that first released all the way up to the one now mm. uh, Then you basically can give it two symbols of any color Correct mm -hmm. And this is a very splashable card This is a very important card for a lot of uh, A lot of Grand Walkers that only can produce uh, They can only produce one with the God Symbol So this is a great addition to it And it's cost reduction is God Symbol too So it's yeah, it's, it's all good. the more the reason that you should actually, uh, even if you don't play red, uh, you should purchase this set to be able to get a hold of this yes, Saga Brave just, as well. So. Just the Saga Brave alone is very worth it. Absolutely. So, mm. all right. Now, what's the key unit that we have over here? All right, the key spirit key here. Spirit, <laughs> All right, the key spirit here is the Creation Dragon Generator Dragon. Hmm, okay. So its skill is that on level 1, level 2, level 3, when this spirit attacks, uh, destroy one opposing spirit of 10,000 BP or lower, and you can pay one cost to summon one Saga Brave from your hand. Oh, 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 oh. That's dangerous as well. Uh, level, level 1, level 2, level 3, flash timing. Uh, during both players' attack step, you can separate one Brave from your Grand Walker Nexus and brave it to this spirit. If you've done so, this spirit refreshes. Mm. Uh -huh, then level Level 2, level 3, during your attack step, all Brave Spirits or Grand Walker Nexus that is Brave with a Saga Brave gains one additional red symbol. Ooh. So it's typical of red to be able to stack up the, the symbols. This uh, turns it into a bit of a rush deck. Mm -hmm. uh, but all the more uh, with, uh, with cards like him combined with the Grand Walker and with uh, the Saga Brave over here, this is really the main bread and butter. You can just see the combination how all of this just goes to there. And mm -hmm. everything else that's in this set focuses on being able to fish out either your Grand Walker, your Saga Brave, or a Ancient Dragon Spirit uh, into your hand. So. Yeah. So with just these three cards alone, you can actually tell how the combo works. So for instance, you have Brahma on the field, right? Just for the sake of this argument, we have two. Mm -hmm. And then you've got two Saga Braves in your hand, Alamandi, mm -hmm. and two Generator Dragons on the field. So when the first one attacks, you can use its first skill to summon a Saga Brave. You can direct Brave it onto a, uh, onto a Grand Walker Nexus. Then after that, attach it uh, attach this Grand Walker Nexus during the flash timing onto Generator Dragon and refresh it. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you can you can leave it as it is. Attack with the other one. You summon the next uh, Alamandi onto uh, and bra direct Bravia onto Grand Walker Brahma. And then after that, use its flash timing to attach it onto Brave uh, onto Bravia onto Generator Dragon and refresh it. So now you have. Two generator dragons with a saga brave brave onto them, and combine that with this grand field as well. It makes it so that no opponent can actually stop this attack. They have to block mm. everything or take everything, or otherwise, destroy them. or destroy them in some way or another. Yeah. So, but the magical thing is that the moment you use the flash timing to detach the saga brave from the ground walker nexus onto generator dragon, immediately this goes up to two symbols. So if your opponent is still alive for some reason by then, this is a this is a hundred uh, percent confirmed finisher. Absolutely, so mm. this is a very very tough uh, turn to actually survive, I can see from there, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. so Cap, what do you think? Are you going to be getting this one? Well, as you pointed out, so with the uh, with the Saga Braves being as effective as they are, mm -hmm. these are not the only ones that's in the set, there's also some uh, common ones that's also in the deck itself. Yep. Once again, you can go to World of Cards, uh, their Facebook page, they have all mm -hmm. the card skills listed over there. Yep. Uh, you can see that this just these alone, plus the rest of the Saga Braves, are worthwhile enough to get this set. So mm. I'm just giving you two rounds, the bet that's actually good enough for you to, to kind of figure out your builds going forward from there. So. Yeah, and speaking of build, this is very helpful for a build deck. <laughs> Thanks for pointing me out. Okay, I need to get this right now. <laughs> I can see there's a lot of uses in many other decks, not just build deck, but any other decks yes. uh, that runs a Grand Walker Nexus. If you run a Grand Walker Nexus, I can foresee you getting this set for the Saga Braves. They're going to be very, very helpful to your, your playstyle. Mm -hmm. Or you can be a very naughty friend or a very bad friend and just give the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And they just keep the Saga Braves. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, they have Diamond Wall. That, that will make it 40 cards. What's, what's wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, that is all for this video. If you like this and would like to see this deck in action, do subscribe to us on CVGS and ring the bell at the side so you can be notified of all of our updates. At the same time, uh, follow us on the socials and join us at Discord. Kevin and I will be there on most nights. You can talk to us over there. Just, just thank us. We, we will look at a message and then probably not ignore it. <laughs> no, just kidding. We'll, we'll read it and then we'll respond. Absolutely. Yep. So with that said, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.